Dear friends, today we are going to talk about poetry. Plato objected poetry by saying that it is the mother of lies, it is the mother of abuses. But Aristotle defended poetry by representing his theory of imitation. As far as the word poetry is concerned, it is the name of representation of feelings. Poetry is pure form of literature. It tells us about life, it tells us about feelings. It tells us the way how we can represent our feelings. William Wordsworth in 1798 says in the prelude of the radical ballads that spontaneous overflow of powerful emotions reflected in tranquility is called poetry. So in poetry a certain language is used, specific language is used, it is rhyming language, elevation of words, elevation of ideas, artistic language meters are used. For example, John Milton in Paradise Lost says, What though the field be lost, all is not lost. Unconquerable wills, study of revenge, immortal hate and courage, never to submit a riot. And that's called the grand style of John Milton. So in poetry, the poet take minute care of expressing his deep ideas. He observes nature very closely. He thinks, he sees the things very minutely. In fact, poetry is the representation of human ideas, human emotions in a mastery of language. Poetry tells us values. Poetry keeps its own character. It speaks in the language of the man. It speaks in the language of nature. It speaks in the language of God. Poetry is not only the combination of words. It tells us the relationship of a man to the other man. The relationship of a man to the nature and it also tells us the relationship of man to God. There are different themes, different ideas and different subject matters are involved in poetry. We can see that there are numerous English, American, Canadian and other languages Poetry is being done in almost all languages in the world. But the beauty of the poetry remains same. It is the universal thing, universal ideas and universal emotions, the representation of the pure emotions are depicted. So we must read poetry, we must understand poetry and we must support poetry. We have to be a literary person. We have to be aesthetic pers persons or the aesthetic sense, the sense to praise beauty. We have to adopt it. If you want to be a good human being, we have to understand poetry till its extreme depth. Thank you so much.